This is Jimmy Johnson, and he's five years old here, and he likes to cut grass, and he cuts it very well for his age. I tried this once before, and I hope I get my audio loud enough for you to hear me. But Jimmy Johnson, that's my grandson. I showed him how to drive that and ride it and can't get him off of it. But he was five years old and he would ride that and cut grass. He'd do it all day long. He wouldn't hardly let me on it. He's quite a kid. And he'd go home, he'd cut grass. He'd come with me, he'd cut grass. And he really enjoyed it. And I th probably would have enjoyed it myself. We had that stuff when we were kids. Now here's an unusual situation. He's mobbed by women. Four little girls that lived next door to the church where we cut grass. Well, they were trying to get his attention when I come back with a camera. And this is what I got. And he's a very modest boy. And they couldn't get him to look at him until they stopped that. Now, that's his fan hey. club there. And hey, they really, they really something. He started, he's running the mower here. He's cutting grass here. And I think when he comes back around, he ends up showing him the motor. kids get a chance to do that. Okay. All right, here, here is something unusual for any. He's explaining the motor to him, and he's also, well, I told him to start it up and watch what he does. Tell him how you start it. Okay. Your hands. And watch your hands. Tell That's him how you start it. That's very considerate and safety minded. And I can't start it with the right blade here. down and the blade is down. No, right it now. won't start with. No, what I tell you, it won't start unless. That's me waving the camera around while we take it out of gear. so he could start it up. But it's not mowing this time. He's just running it. And his fan club, fan club follows him around. And he's a popular guy. What working man is it? Uh, Say hi, Mom. Huh? Say hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. He's playing around in that wagon there. And he tips over and it is kind of Hey, look comical. at the camera, Jim. Look at the camera and say, Yoy, such a day. <laughs> the grandkids are enjoyable. Just how many of you guys out there enjoy yours? <laughs> Yoy, such a day. You like this, Jim? But yoy, such a day. Let's get the gear together and get that grass cut and go home. Wave to your mom and dad. Wave, say hi. Now, Jimmy just doesn't cut grass. Now, he's seven years old here cutting grass. And he does a good job. I didn't get the five years out of there, but he's seven here. No, I'm, I'm wrong. He's five. 
Now he gets in supervisor mode and tells me it's my turn. <laughs> You guys are anything like me you get yourself into a project before finishing another project that's always a constant project working on that although it's pretty much done and then there's this this uh, Explorer that I work on the little odds and ends around here but I got something I think is pure gold at least for me anyways um, it's a part of my childhood and um, I couldn't pass it up I had to get, I had to get it so um, we're gonna go get it. The only problem is I don't have Adam. He's busy, busy being busy. He's not here. Not gonna be back till tomorrow. Um, and I can't get anybody else to help me. We're gonna make an attempt at putting that thing in here. I've got some, I've got four uh, two by fours, I think are gonna be long enough and just enough to get what we're getting on here. So. Um, let's head on over and uh, see what it is. You guys hear my Explorer squeaking? It's the seat and the radius arm bushings. This is actually a friend's property. It's really cool. There's no house on it. Um, but it's... Uh, I like it. A lot of cool stuff there. And I saw this, I went over to chat with them and saw this freaking uh, mower. I was like, dude, I've got to have this thing. Yes, it's a mower. But not just any. It's one I uh, actually had um, when I was a kid. I learned how to drive it and operate it and kind of got me into uh, it's like a a, a uh, what you what you might call it um, <laughs> training uh, an insight on what it's like to drive a, a vehicle and I uh, used to go mow yards with it and um, this is, dates back to uh, when me and my grandfather used to mow the, the yard at his at the church that he would volunteer for and uh, they got to a point where they no longer needed the mower because they had, um, they've expanded enough to where they just have a company come and mow the yard and it's a real quick wham bam thank you ma'am. Coming up on the gate here. But uh, they ended up giving it to me for free. Looks like, looks like they're still here so. I'm going to uh, position the vehicle, but uh, might actually move the mower, and I might pull my vehicle into the into his property. So, all right, got the mower. I had to set it on the bumper because, uh, like an idiot, forgot my tools and uh, couldn't take the steering wheel off. So, <laughs> just, she's held in with ratchet straps. I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. So, yeah, let's uh, let's go home and uh, have ourselves a musty one inspired video, shall we? So my neighbor was nice enough and uh, helped me get this out of the car, and uh, yeah. It's, uh, she's a mess. Bit of a mess, but I think um, we can fix it up. But actually,
actually like to fix it up so I can use it to mow the uh, the grass um, here at the house instead of using the push mower I can just sit on here and and mow the lawn with it I think it would be, uh, be pretty cool so this is a power craft 18 and a half horsepower uh, lawn mower, uh, riding lawn mower I think it's a gar the garden tractor style Yeah, I think the, I want to say that this is the garden tractor. The lawn tractors, I think, had an even smaller wheel, and they used like a cotter pin or something to hold the thing in. But I had one of these a very long, 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 long time ago um, when I was uh, about half, half, half my age as I am now. Uh, just about, yeah, half my age. Um, I think it was 13 years old. Um, I had one of these. And I'd cut the grass. Um, I would mow yards with it, or take my equipment around and mow yards in my uh, the neighborhood that I used to live in before I moved here. Uh, in the video clip that I played in the beginning of this, uh, my uh, grandfather showed me how to operate this, and we'd cut the grass um, at the church that he went to. And eventually, they expanded and no longer needed uh, the tractor, and gave it to me. So I fixed it up the best I could, got it to run. Um, had a lot of electrical problems. I had to uh, disable a lot of the safety interlocks, but um, I was, uh, I didn't have a problem with that. Didn't get hurt, never did. Um, anyways, I sold it because I got tired of it. And when I was at my friend's house the other day, I saw this and I could not, I, could, I couldn't pass it up. I had to take it. And luckily, my friend was um, in a position where it wasn't something that, um, it was something that could have been of use, but it was just, there's so much going on with it that they can't use it, so. This is like one of the old Montgomery Ward type uh, mowers made by MTD. Even has the key still on it, which is nice. I mean, they're not, it's not like they're universal or anything. Look at that. I mean, you could just get any kind of key and put it in there. It's completely dead. The, uh, so the only difference with this one is it has a 42 inch deck. The one that I was given to, or the one that I was given had a 46 inch. So I had three blades. And already. She's going to need a patch job, so I'm going to have to clean that up and put a piece of metal over it. I need to get some new wire for one of the welders and see if that's up to par. To... I think we'll be able to weld it without blowing a hole in it. Um, it's got some bangs and some bent metal. The hood's a little cracked. I could probably super glue that. Looks like someone pulled on it. This is cracked. I don't think I can weld that. But we'll straighten it out and do some, maybe JB weld it. I'm not sure. And this has got the 18 and a half horsepower Briggs. It's the industrial commercial one. It looks like, is that 95? This is a 95 model. There's no gas in the tank. Which is good. And then there's also... I don't think there was any oil in it. Just a wee little bit, but I got oil. The hood on it was taken off. And it's missing one of those rubber bumper things. Not bumper, but a spacer shuts pretty decently and doesn't rattle so yeah pretty cool notice it has some steering problems and I, a lot of it might be because of the positioning of this thing here or it may be that this is probably bent I'm not 
I'm not sure. It's got more play than my Ford. No. This all works. Um, tires. I'm going to get new tires for it. Um, these are... Well, you can get these anytime you want. You can get them all day long. So I'm get new tires, new tubes. This one's got a mismatch. Uh, get a, these are just cracked. I want, I want to put new tires on it. Got to check the toe. Um, <laughs> I replaced the tie rods on mine. These little guys right here. And uh, I didn't know about the whole alignment thing. I just kind of sent it and got it close. And it, it wore the one tire down so fast. But uh, this has already been kind of taken apart. So I think what we'll do is we'll get this down to piece by piece. Um, oh, this is the other problem. Check this out. <laughs> Mine also had a push bar on it. I bought a push bar for it and mounted it on there. If I can find the same one, I'm gonna put it on here. And um, the lights are all messed up. They don't <laughs> put some LEDs in it. That'd be funny. So the battery. November 2016. I'm going to try and save it. If I can't, I'll go get a new one. So why don't we go ahead and get this all off and see what's going on under the, under the hood. Um, also, uh, I'll show you that later. That's, look. And the nice thing about this, if I need to move it over a little bit, I just do that. <laughs> Okay. Have our missing screw. I think it's just going into plastic, but okay, that one's out of there. Be able to just take this whole mover over. Need some gloves for this. There's um, it's just sitting out in pretty much a field, so I don't know what kind of bugs are here. So I need some kind of globular protection. Man, it's just all kinds of crap here. So I would like to get these bolts off here. There's like all of this. Okay. Yeah, because this is this is intake. The wires here. It's kind of. I want to make this neat. You know, this is the the choke. I think all this worked when I tried to move it. Oh, that's great. You guys are going to love this. See that? That's, that's freaking nasty chooch.
this screw here. Real lucky that came off. And then the dipstick. That should come off now. Oh, yeah. Check this out. So there's no real nest in there, but we're gonna, we're gonna take all that insulation crap off these wires. This is never on. My mark, because this was always up over here like this. Check this out. You know what? I think my part store in town has this. I knew this was going to be like that because I'll tell you why. Mine did the same thing. It's just broke. See, so you got. It looks like the fly will hit it. Otherwise, it was doing all right until it chowdered itself up. It looks like we won't be getting a running tonight. Yeah, put all that crap down there. I don't want that in there. So, yeah, look at this. So there's there's the wire for your turn off. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that crap off of there, and then. Uh, Maybe we'll look at getting the starter off. And then we're gonna motivate to what I found in there. All right, I tidied up the wiring a little bit. Kinda reloomed this and this is how, this is how I remember the fuel line being. It's like t uh, squeezed into these bracket things here. And it's held in there and then you know, you're good to go. And then this wire, I think, just floats around while well, I just went and zip tied it to everything. So it's nice and tidy and not flopping around. Um, I may end up, I'm probably going to end up getting a new fuel line for this and a new filter. Just, just because. So that's what we got so far for hardware holding that mess on. So, yeah, this is for the headlights. Um, I've got a pack of connectors, actually, on the way, so we'll probably make a new one for the headlights. Uh, this is for the kill wire, for the ignition. I hope the coil's good. And then this is the harness for the stator, or AKA the alternator, but it's just a stator. And it's just kind of neatly packed in there. For right now, I wanted to show you guys the hot mess. Okay, check this out. So, get this, get this out of here. And then, look, look, look at it. Would you just look at it? Okay, I gotta move this. I gotta sit. My back is just bugging me right now. Okay, so this guy. I don't know what this goes to. I don't know what any of this goes to. We're more than likely just going to find out if she starts or not. Um, that's on. You're like, bing! Um, for this mower, since it's 
I'll be using it. I am going to be um, disabling a lot of the safety features. Okay, we're going to have to get a new one of these. I'm sure I can get these on eBay or something. This is driving me nuts. Every time I push on it, it rolls. Noise alert! I have new screws and or new, uh, new new bolts for this. heavy, but now I'm an adult, it's not. <laughs> okay, I'm just to top that back. Vacuum cleaner again. For a battery tray. Yeah. It's been a long time, tubes. A long time. So I'll need to make either make a battery tray or at least just something to hold the battery. We're gonna have to wire it. We're gonna flap this all down and paint it. Um, I want to make sure the engine works first or runs and doesn't hopefully it doesn't burn oil or anything like that uh, it looks like it it mostly just leaked its oil so hmm. you know what let's try something give us an idea if the transmission is working so I'm going to throw it in reverse It is actually moving. I can't believe I have a riding lawnmower. Gap seems really tiny, but I don't know what it's supposed to be on these engines. And you know what's funny? I actually have a repair manual on this engine specifically. So I can actually look that spec up. Probably threw, throw some plugs in her. These are old auto lights. 308. Yeah, let's get new plugs for it. Okay, now let's try and spin her up. Yeah, look at that, she's moving. Doesn't take much pressure to get it to move, that's cool. Reverse. It's got a low, really low reduction in reverse. That's cool. Okay, our transmission's good. I went ahead and put the charger on, and at first it wouldn't go, I just went brrrr. So what I did, is I took a couple leads, put it on this battery here, and just touched it, and it kind of went into a weird meh mode, and then hit it again, and it powered up, but then it went to full charge, so I think it was just picking up on this. Took that off, put it back on, and now it went into charge mode. So we're gonna see if this will come back. Hang on, Shop Kitty wants in. 
Hey, cat, what you doing? Kitty Roca. Kitty, what you, what you doing? Kitty, 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 so, Maria, kitty, what you doing? Kitty, what you doing? What you doing, you crusty butt? Well, hopefully this uh, works. Batteries, you know, it's only two years old. I think it was just, it's got liquid in it and stuff, so we're good to go. I, th I think it just needs to be brought back and charged up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that tray. That thing is a complete mess. Um, I don't, there's really not any room to put a battery anywhere else. Um, so, I might have to get maybe exhaust strap and make some kind of temporary thing, I'm not sure. Before we go, let's get a good look at the mower deck here. Um, first off, um, I was able to tighten this pinch bolt up here and got this to be a little tighter. Took a little bit of play out, but then, you look right there, that thing's all flopping around. Um, I was looking at parts, MTD parts for this, and there's still a lot of stuff you can get for this. Um, for example, this drag link right here is like 16 bucks. Uh, Jack Small Engines uh, has this, and I believe that um, rod is used um, in quite a few different mowers, so it's still being made. Uh, this one I believe is bent because there's no other explanation that I can think of that would tell me why this turns more left than it does right. It's like it was made for NASCAR or something. I think what happened is somebody maybe hit something or, or really cranked on this and it bent it. It, do, it looks more bent than the replacement that I've seen. And yeah, I mean when you're rubbing up against the panel there, bending it, you know, there's something wrong. I'm gonna get one of those. Um, Probably at a later time I'll order one, and I'm probably going to order all new tie rod ends. And if that, you can get a new steering shaft for this. The same steering shaft's used in a lot of other mowers. So I think I'm going to get that and a new, uh, what would you call that, a Pitman arm plate? Steering plate? Well, I'm going to, we'll probably end up upgrading or replacing some of that. I don't like having sloppy steering, and although this is a lawn mower, I, I still like to have a positive steering, not sloppy crap. Plus it wears out even more. So taking a look at under here, this is all kinds of grimy. Um, the drive belt looks okay until you get to a certain section of it. And uh, I think she's pretty bad. Lots of blade stop. Like, yeah, whatever. Um, so, looking at this belt, this belt's all flipped around. Oh my god. Um, looking under here, looks pretty scary. Got a little bit of rot there. And we got some rot right up here. I might do a crappy patch on it, I'm not sure. Um, the blades are going to need a sharpening, and I want to check them for um, any, if, see if what, if any of them are bent, and if not, I'll throw them on the grinder and um, clean them up. But I cannot get this spindle to move any more than that. That one moves freely. Um, I went over there and checked it out and moves, but this one it might be moving now. Oh, it's turning the engine. Oh well, it's engaged now. Huh.
Oh. <laughs> she spins now. I bet you the bearings in there might have some crust in there. You know, this doesn't help. As low as she's gonna get. Look at all this. <clears throat> There's twigs. Oh, it might have been a twig and they're jamming it up. Look at all this. <clears throat> my oh my. take that guard off. There's all kinds of crap back in there. Wow, there's just all kinds of shit in there. Someone must have been cutting a lot of tall grass with this thing. Oh. Oh. I might have to weld that a little bit. Add some material back to it. Oh, if it's got a greaser, yeah, we might put a spindle in it. I'll see how much they are. I might actually throw a couple spindles in it. It feels, you know, when you turn a, an electric motor and it's, you can feel the different poles in it. It just goes click, 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 like it's got a detent in it. That's what this feels like. She's pretty tight. I bet you she'd be loud as hell. <laughs> All right, well, I think that'll be enough for now. We kind of know what we're looking at. Um, the engine. Um, I know we can get to run. We just don't know what else it needs. Um, I know it needs a starter gear, so I'll get that tomorrow. Um, our battery might be okay. Um, it may or may not need a carb kit. Um, it hasn't had any gas in it. Looks like it looked like someone drained it. So it's a possibility we might get away with not having to do a carb kit. Um, we may do one anyways. Get some plugs for it. Um, and then who knows what else it might need. Um, battery tray. I'm gonna band-aid just so it'll hold the battery in there. Um, but I can get a new one, a brand new one, uh, pretty cheap. So I think once we get it running and stuff, once we know it runs and kind of moves around, we'll get belts and stuff and maybe peel this stuff off and repaint it. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to have a riding lawnmower. Actually, I am looking forward to using it for my the yard around here because I use I mow my yard and I mow his, and uh, sometimes I just want to sit down and mow, you know. So, if not, if I decide to not use this for mowing, um, we may actually go a little bit more different with it and maybe peel that mower deck off and sit, you know, if I don't get any spindles for it, I may just send it off. And uh, we'll we'll turn it turn it into a mud mower. Do some modifications to this thing. Put dual exhaust on it instead of going into a single muffler. You know stuff like that. So yeah. Anyways, tubes. That's gonna be it for today's video. I will catch you guys later. Well, anyways, there's gonna be a few more videos on this. Get some paint on it. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you guys later.